Uh, we're here at the IO Technology event with Mike Severt of Cross River Fiber. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to uh, to talk with us. Sure. Maybe you could start by telling us a little bit about about Cross River Fiber and uh, what you guys do for our readers who may not already be familiar with you. Sure. So Cross River Fiber is a New Jersey-based dark fiber CLEC, or a competitive local exchange carrier, headquartered and based in New Jersey. We are a board-approved utility. We own, operate construct all new brand new fiber optic routes in New Jersey and offer dark fiber as a service. So there's uh, obviously a number of folks uh, you know, providing these kind of fiber services in New Jersey. Tell us a little bit about what the market looks like here. Obviously a lot of uh, you know importance to the, some of the financial data centers sure. and how you guys maybe differentiate yourselves a little bit. Sure. So Yeah, so why another fiber provider in New Jersey? Um, we do have a lot of competition, but traditionally the competition has their footprint, their fiber routes already in place and built. So in terms of, you know, what Cross River brings to the table, we are a niche, nimble, boutique-like fiber provider that can look at the overall landscape that the current fiber providers have built and not only diversify, build new routes, diverse routes, low latency routes. We can look at what's built today and kind of customize any network need for a customer, whether it's a carrier, healthcare, enterprise in the market in New Jersey. And where we are today into the IO data center, we're one of the first carriers that built dark fiber into this facility that offers a unique footprint to what the current incumbent and other you know, CLEX have today. And we, we see that pretty uh, being pretty sustainable in New Jersey because we can provide something that's unique to what's out there today. And that's, you know, unique rights of way and diverse fiber. So we offer diversity and really a redundant solution to the customers in the market. So maybe let's talk a little bit about the, the rights of way because um, everyone's always looking for the lowest latency possible. Uh, how does that get worked out in terms of how do you approach trying to deliver that and, and what role does the, the rights yeah, of way yeah, play in, in how you run routes? It's a great question and, and today, you know, one of the main verticals that we support is low latency. So really what does that mean? It's, you know, building the shortest fiber route between an A and a Z location, which ultimately gives the end user, traditionally a, a financial trading firm, the lowest latency between two points. Um, but in order to build the lowest latency routes in New Jersey specifically, you have to really understand the landscape of construction, right of way, and, and regulatory. And Cross River has been, you know, the Cross River Fiber team has been doing this in New Jersey for, you know, for, for more than 20 plus years. So we understand the landscape, the hurdles, and, and the enterprise needs for these routes. So we've been building low latency routes in New Jersey since Cross River was, was started up and founded a year ago, and we've done a great job. We have some of the lowest latency fiber routes in existence today to some of the exchanges and, you know, some of the towns, Secaucus, Weehawken, Mawa, Carteret, and Newark. And really what, what we were able to do is support that low latency financial vertical by looking at what our competitors have built mm -hmm. and shortening but also diversifying that route with our local knowledge of, of working in New Jersey. But it's a very competitive, ever-changing uh, landscape where the, long, the terms of the deals are not that long and the financial customers being the high-frequency trading firms are constantly looking for you know, shorter latency, lower speeds between the endpoints. And we also now compete with things going you know, RF technology. So speed of light is not, you know, is not sometimes uh, you know, the ultimate with fiber. So, uh, obviously the last couple of years, because of the, some of the factors you've just talked about, there's uh, been a lot of activity here in New Jersey, a lot of fiber, a lot going on. Uh, is, is that level of activity likely to, to continue, or is this just sort of a, a point in time where, where there's, there's a, a, a lot of, uh, where there's a lot of demand? So I, I, I think now again, why, you know, why another fiber provider? The demand is, is crucial, and, and it's, there are a lot of folks out there that can provide the fiber services, but dark fiber is a little bit of a niche product that our, comp our competitors traditionally don't offer. So getting dark fiber as a service, not everyone offers it. But the demand for customers looking for larger bandwidth and, and again, to diversify their networks who they currently have in place with the local incumbents or other niche fiber providers, that's why Cross River is in business. We are that boutique company that can offer this solution 
for the enterprise demand. And with the bandwidth constantly changing on the growth for virtualization, for content media, social networking, and for healthcare, especially on the on the you know, electronic uh, imaging right. and records, right. and for the whole HIPAA compliance, the bandwidth growth is tremendous. So we can provide the alternative to the phone companies and the traditional carriers, and also answer the you know what the customers are looking for, and that's really scalability, customization over our you know over our backbone, and, and that's kind of what we're doing today. And one last point to that is, with all the consolidation happening constantly through M&A and, right. and, and some of the cable companies buying up fiber companies or some of the large fiber companies gobbling up niche Celex, it kind of opens up the doors again for, for companies like Cross River to be niche and really focus on what you're good at in your own backyard. Awesome, Mike. Thanks so much for taking a few minutes to talk to us. Oh, thanks, Rich. Appreciate your time.